Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Californian Christian Homeowners 109.7 KSBJ Frequency Modulation. To ease you into the world of the Awoken, kick back, relax, and soothe your sins with some Wonder Thought Beats. What a beautiful morning. Fuck, Kyle! You moved! Do you have any idea how long I've been looking for you? How did you find me? I've got some shit to show you. My week has been fucking insane. I knocked out a gay bartender, and I had to grab an Uber all the way here. Is... Are you... What is that, rum? Well, it's rum and coke. A shot of it? Fucking whatever, it doesn't matter. Have you... Have you seen They Live? Seen who live? <laughs> Fuck. I... The ads, Kyle. The ads are everywhere. They, they followed me here. They're coming right now. Like commercials? No! I'm talking about real ads, Kyle. Real ones. Ah, real ads, but not commercials. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Tell me more about these ads you see. Are there any ads in the room with us right now? No! God, you aren't fucking listening! The ads are following right behind me. We need to go. Would you say you feel like you're being pursued by these feelings? Yes, of course. If I stop, they're going to get me. They might have already gotten Cameron. Uh-huh. And how does all this make you feel, Avery? I'm glad you asked. Here, the video of Cameron's on YouTube. Just let me... Oh, fucking unskippable pre-rolls, the cunts. Here, hold this. Are you looking for the latest and greatest deals on video games? Humble Monthly is a subscription service where you can get a bunch of video games for $12 a month. This month's early unlocks are... Hang on. Just head on down to humble.pleasestopshopping.com now to support the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy. Just head on! Okay, this bit, this bit. So not the ad I just watched? No, 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 that's different. That one was supposed to be there. Pay attention. Oh Avery, this is just a video of a man getting shot in a supermarket. Oh, God, you can't see it. <sighs> okay, I don't have time. I'm sorry for this, Kyle. My Robin Cove! That's no one came to my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, whoa. Th thanks, Cameron. Please leave. Oh, oh, it, it. oh. <laughs> This is terrible. Why are we this dogging him pretty, so hard? This is pretty par for the course. You've been missing for a while. Yeah. Also, hey, Kyle's back. Wait, what? No, you guys intro. Well, no, we don't. We just did. Okay, well, we I'm did. here, so we intro. We don't do the name thing anymore. Do you? Wow. Kyle doesn't go on the podcast for a year and he stops listening. Was it more listening. than a year? That's nah, Kyle, exactly he, what happened. Kyle comes back to the podcast for a year and all he wants is clout. Wow. <laughs> Kyle just wants a name drop. Kyle, That's, you're the only one who's been name dropped. Thank you, God. Avery. You <laughs> slut. You decadent <laughs> slut. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> this is weird. I feel out of place. This is like an out-of-body experience not being introduced. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Please Stop Talking. As always, I am your host, Avery, but you might know me better as Shammy. I'm joined, as always, by my lovely friend, Kyle. Well, not don't say always. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joined, unusually, by... Uh, Kyle. Hi. <laughs> Are you doing the and other people or just Kyle? Yes, yeah, please. it's just Kyle. Kyle's the no, only one who wants it. No, please introduce Ed. Please Holy introduce Holy fucking Ed. shit. And I'm also joined by the... Exquisite, Ew. punk duck. <laughs> that one felt yucky. <laughs> I don't want uh, anyone to ever want this again. Shower time. <laughs> Can we all just save water and hop in the shower together and record it in the shower? Yeah. I don't know how. This I mean, yeah. Let's get in the PST house shower. And there's plenty the of room PST for PST house. Yeah. All right. That made me sad. Go in the yeah. corner. Ed, what are you doing at 3 a.m.? Being sad. You wanna go to IHOP? <laughs> oh, fuck you! 
<laughs> fuck you. <laughs> okay. That's not even an interesting thing to explain. It nope. really isn't. Where are we going with this? I, heard I don't know. Who wants to leave? The, the, having to do the intro, like, after we did the intro, fucked fucked me up. Yeah, because I thought we were just going to naturally yeah. lead the conversation. I have a question for you. Oh, what is it, David, of PSD <laughs> podcast fame? Where were you <laughs> on the last week? What? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> when did you have your fucking vacation, motherfucker? Oh, thank you. Uh, well, on the last uh, week, I didn't really talk to many people because I was outside of my little home country of Belgium, and I went on a little vacation with a couple of my friends. You might know them. You might know only one of them, most likely. His name is Trelly, and he was on the episode. On, <laughs> on the podcast. On the episode. <laughs> on an the episode. episode. <laughs> on an episode. A couple weeks back, he was the guy talking about plums. Quite and, a few weeks back. <laughs> yeah, and fondling balls. You know him. Yeah, the fifth dimension. Anyway, I went, I went with him and a couple of other friends, including Rexy and Dave. Ugh. And yes. But the main thing is, we went into this trip, me and my friends, excluding Rexy, with a big theory. We think... Rexy is a virgin. Now, let me explain. <laughs> what do you mean think? Exactly. Let me explain. So Rexy, I'm not going to lie. He's a very attractive man. Right? I, I, think, yeah. I think, I mean, he's like conventionally attractive. He's like model yeah, he's attractive. Yeah, like imagine white Josuke, but not as charming. White Josuke? We had this conversation. Oh, You're right. the one who pointed Fucking it out. stupid. Okay, yeah. Which is ironic because he thinks JoJo's is gay, but he's like, dude. Josuke has pretty nice hair. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rexy's the guy that saved Josuke when he was five. <laughs> Fuck. Um, but anyway, we have this theory. Because, like, Rexy talks up all the sex he has a lot. But also, <laughs> we've never seen him talk to a female. Ever. And Ooh. he's always like, yo, at Worlds, I'm going to get some girls. And the only girl he hit on at Worlds was... A girl that was being paid to be at the after party to try to oh. sell people drinks. Oh no! Oh, no! Like she was like going around and giving people coupons, and Rexy was hitting on her, and we were like, "Rexy, she's being paid." Yo, what can to I like use you? this coupon to redeem <laughs> later tonight? You know? Uh, and he was like, "No, no, dude, dude, trust me, she's into me. She's into me. I'll see her later on the dance floor." Dude, she keeps <laughs> smiling at me. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got really drunk. And on our way back on the Uber, he was in a fetal position in the back of the car, <laughs> crying <laughs> and going, I didn't get any girls tonight, man. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no, dude. Oh. I've it's never amazing. met Rexy, but Cause, wow. Because he was giving us all these rules of bringing girls back to the house. He was like, when I bring girls back to the house, I don't want you guys to disturb us for at least like 30 minutes. We're like, okay, big man, you the last 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that didn't happen. And oh, the world's God. after that, again, that didn't happen. But then we planned this big trip to Punta Cana. And Rexy was like, dude, I'm so fucking ready. Like, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna nair my balls and my ass. You'll see. <laughs> this is my year. <laughs> and can't confirm. He did nair his balls and his ass. Because we all shared one room. So eventually nice. we were gonna see each other's cock balls and ass. And I got the full picture. That shit was clean shaven. It was like <laughs> it was like four Mr. Clean heads. You know what I'm saying? Four? Yeah, like two the two balls, balls two and cheeks. two cheeks. Thank oh, you, Jesus Christ, Christ, dude. I thought you were talking about like two balls, the fucking tip of the weenie, and just like a single <laughs> ass cheek. Well, really, um, that's where you went with that. Well, that's where my brain went Rexy's with that. Rexy's ass is just a dome. <laughs> Why did you need to nair the tip of your weenie? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's got a hairy weenie. Maybe he's got a fucking oh, wolf God. cock. No. All right, all right. Like that's a wolf in his cock? <laughs> I guess cock is a wolf. Tell me about Rexy's cock. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about the little little art piece with the Falco, but anyway, what was I saying? Uh, oh, God. something about you. You saw you saw the full nair. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did definitely do it, and I was like, there is no way this man is getting laid. If anything, I don't want him to get laid because it'd be funnier. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. way funnier. Um, 
So we go there and we have this big theory. I think Rexy's a, just I think Rexy's a virgin. Like there's no way that he is, but it's it really seems like he is. But there really is <laughs> way. Um, and then the entire week we're like sitting at bars and there's like groups of girls that are like coming up to us, but like sitting on the chairs next to us, which is the very telltale sign of, hey, come up and talk to us. Or am I wrong? I think I'm right. I wasn't so, listening, but sure. Okay. Oh, that's fucked up. So anyway, they, they come up to us and, I'm, and I was like, yo, Rexy, you want to you go up and talk to him? And then he's like, mm, nah. And I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> like, 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 right, right. like, they're attractive. You can go up and talk to him. He's like, no, I, I don't want to go by myself to a group of girls. And I went, oh. okay, I'll, I'll go up with you. So it's just the two of us and then I'll introduce you and then you can work your magic. And he went, I don't know, man. I'm not really, I'm not really confident when I'm sober. I'd rather, I'd rather do when I'm drunk. <laughs> oh. And I'm just like, wouldn't it be better if you did it while you were sober? Like if when you're drunk, you can say some dumb shit. And he's like, no, 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 no. I, you have no idea. I get, I get way better when I'm drunk. You can only roll his R's <laughs> while drunk. Does Rex actually sound like this? <laughs> no, he, he does. He does. And like, at this bit. point, <laughs> <laughs> at this point, I'm like, uh oh, it's happening. So. That, that, that basically happens throughout every, like, day portion of the week. And then there was this one night where me and Dave just ate a fuck ton of old pizza. And then we got really tired, so we just slept in. <laughs> so it was only Trelly and Rexy that went out. And they went to this nightclub. And uh, just so you know, j- just for context, Trelly has purple hair right now. This comes into play later. So Trelly and Rexy go to this nightclub. And, you know, they're dancing. They're having a good time. And then this group of four chicks start talking to him, and according to both of them, only one of them was hot, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> and then God. somehow <laughs> Rexy got stuck. It's like an in-betweeners, the first movie. Rexy yeah. got stuck talking to the least attractive one, and then they were just talking and talking, and Rexy just suddenly goes, you know, I gotta ask you something. Well, is, your, um, is your friend single? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck, dude. Oh. Oh. And then she goes... <laughs> Actually, she's more interested in the purple guy. (laughs) (laughs) And then Rexy gets up and goes, Trelly, we're leaving. (laughs) Oh my god. What a bitch, dude. What a cunt. (laughs) What? (laughs) What an absolute (laughs) asshole. That dude hasn't been in the same fucking area code as a vagina. Holy oh, shit. Oh my and then we're God. Like talking to. And then, no, no. And then, no, no. I wake up the next day and I'm still like, because like we drink, to, we kept fucking up and we kept drinking during the morning slash day. We almost never went out at night. What, like on accident? No. <laughs> uh, and then, like, I slept in. Dave actually went out. They all went out. And then Charlie Quebec was like, Ed, I'm drunk at 11 a.m. What's up? And I need to ask you something. And I'm like, okay, what's wrong? Rexy says they were all here, they're all present. And Trelly was visibly upset. He said, Rexy says he's never eaten a girl out and he's fingered a girl once. Wh- what? <laughs> oh. At this point, I can feel my lifespan shortening. I can feel the wrinkles and the veins showing up in my forehead. And I tell him, Rexy, how? <laughs> and he says to me, I don't, I don't. I don't care if she's enjoying it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, dude. No. Rexy is so fucking irredeemable. What and a I terrible. Him, and then I tell him, okay, even if you don't care that she's enjoying it, right? right? I assume no one enjoys a dry vagina? Right? No, it's, uh, listen, if they look at him, soaked. Right? <laughs> right. Have you seen that hair? Um, and then I tell I assume you don't enjoy... enjoy a dry, a dry vagina. And he's like, oh yeah, but I, I just use lube. And then I'm like, wouldn't it be cheaper to just eat them out, even if it's for a second? And he's like, I don't, I don't care. I don't care if it's oral. It, I just want it to be on me. What the <laughs> fuck? What a yikes. Also, do you have any idea how much money Rexy makes? It's the other thing he talks about. Oh, right, right. He doesn't I need to about worry that. about lube cost. Like, and then, and, so that happens. And then a giant 
penny drops, right? Because two days after the trip started, me and Charlie started having a lot of inside jokes because while Rexy was sleeping, we spotted a pack of still unopened Trojans in his bag and we were just <laughs> laughing our ass off like, oh, he's not going to, he's not going to use them all trip, right? And then on one of the last days, Charlie went up to me and was like, Ed, I just thought of something. Rexy has dead ass set on this trip. I've never worn a condom and I never will. <laughs> What? What the fuck? It's all the money he makes. He'll pay for the abortion. No. (laughs) But and he'll also buy condoms just to flex. Exactly. (laughs) What is this? We think he's actually never had sex. I buy it. And then when he said that, I started laughing. And Rex was like, What are you guys talking about? And I just went, Oh, nothing, nothing. And I just looked at Trelly and I said the line from Django that Leo says, There's been a lot of lies told in this (laughs) (laughs) era. And then Rex was like, No, really, what are you guys laughing about? We were just like, Oh, yeah, we're just quoting Leo at each other. It's all good. (laughs) Oh, my God. That's a really great cover. And then, yeah, we were just, yeah, he. Didn't get laid. He brought the Trojans. Trojans were left unopened. And then he he shaved his ass and balls and nothing. Nothing came of it. Damn. And then this is a tiny theory that I had on the very last night. Me and Charlie were, were out on the balcony. We were drunk as shit. And I was like, Charlie, I don't think Rexy is a virgin. I think he's an incel. Because... <laughs> 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 He doesn't want to eat girls out. He's fingered a girl once and hated it. And then whenever he does get laid, quote unquote, get laid, he doesn't like do anything else with them. He doesn't. He just tells them to leave. I think he's an incel. Holy shit. I really love finding out. The, the reasoning for all of the words you put in the topic chat as the story I know, goes it's on. So yeah. <laughs> I know, I've been Pusha watching it. Out. I'm just Dave, like... Dave, Amanda, Mama Juana, <laughs> Naps and Pizza, Mono, Connor, <laughs> I'm writing down topics, Cameron. <laughs> Let's get sad, Mental Clock, Nightclub, the fucking the Canadian, Canadian 50-year-old. 50 year old. I'm pretty I'm excited, excited for Let's Get Sad. I'm excited for all of these. Yeah. <laughs> I love the story I, unfolding, not in the order you put the words. <laughs> oh, hell, it's not. It's going to be all jumbled up. It's going to be like Beyond Two Souls. I'm going to pick and choose perfect. the timeline. Oh, I love David Cage. <laughs> I'm going to pick the uh, Canadian 50 year old right now because that okay, story okay. is still we're pretty talking fresh about, in my mind we're talking right. about David Cage <laughs> no because we're talking about Rexy <laughs> oh, right um, <clears throat> so the, the hotel was pretty big and one of the things they had was a karaoke bar which I fucking loved oh, nice. a, I, I fucking love getting drunk and just singing it's the best it is pretty singing good in fr- Singing in front of strangers is the best. It's also the best when they join in. What's not the best is when you're singing year 3000 and then the entire bar is clapping along and like five people climb on stage to sing with you. And in the moment the chorus hits, the fucking song buffers. Oh, dude, I'm still I'm still pissed about that. I'm still so fucking <laughs> that sucks. That fucking <laughs> sucks, dude. Zoinks. Anyway, we're at the karaoke bar and <laughs> the, the karaoke bar was closed. But then we were like, yo, if Rexy can beat you in arm wrestling, we can sing three songs. What? What? Like, we, we were talking to the owner. Oh, and the, okay. owner was, the owner was jacked. And we were like, okay, arm wrestle our friend. And if he beats you, we get three free songs. And he was like, okay, okay my friend. <laughs> That's amazing. And then they arm wrestled. Is Rexy then, jacked? Yeah, Re- Rexy's pretty jacked. I'll give him that. And then they arm wrestled. And Rexy won? We thought he won. But, like, you know, he, he leaned the other guy, like, a billion his way. And, like, we were like, yeah, all right, we got our three songs. And the guy was like, no, no, my arm never touched the table. And you let go of my hand, so you are disqualified. And we were like, what? Oh. And, like, the thing is, if we had lost, we would have had to pay him. And then we just came to a compromise, like, okay, how about... Because, you know, the karaoke bar was closed, so even if we paid him, we wouldn't get any songs. We're like, okay, how about we still pay you, but we also get our three songs? And he was like, all right, fair enough. So, Trelly gave him, we were all going to give him $2. But the thing is, 
I wasn't used to the currency. So everyone gave him $2. And then I also gave him my, t I mean, not $2. It was the Dominican Republic pesos. currency. Yeah, pesos. Thank you. So I also gave him what I thought was the equivalent <clears throat> of $2 in pesos. And then he held it and he looked at it and he went, is this for me? And I went, yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> and then I looked, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I looked back at the note that I gave him. Mm. It was $20. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> How many Jesus. songs was that? <laughs> is this for me? <laughs> okay. it, it, it was three songs. Oh. This is all for three songs. And like, I just loved that he was so shocked. Like, is this for me? And I went, yeah, dude, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't stop to double check or anything. You're just like, yeah, for it. lost <laughs> to arm wrestling. And he lost the bet entirely. And he made $26. <laughs> <laughs> he must but anyway, have fucking happy. But then we said, Here, here's the songs we want. We want Ocean Man. We want the original Naruto second opening. <laughs> and we, oh God. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who that was. <laughs> and I and we want Brian Adams Summer of '69. And he, and he wrote all of them down. And then we went on stage. We all sang Ocean Man. It was great. And then the Naruto opening came on. We were all into it. And then we realized, oh, we didn't request the opening version. We requested the full version. And the full version's five minutes long. Oh, oh God. Everyone passed out because that song, I don't know if you know that song. That song has a lot of screaming. <laughs> I was which the one only is, one wait, left which one on is, stage. Is it, uh, wait. Everybody's uh, there. Uh, 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 it's that one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that one has a lot of yelling. <laughs> like, pure yelling. Not, it's not even, it doesn't even count as singing. My voice was fucked by the end. And then some fucking huge Canadian dude shows up and he was like, Oh, hey, pass me the mic, eh? Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and we were like, and they're like, no, no, we got one more. Oh, no, friend, I'm pretty sure it's me now. And <laughs> and <laughs> David, why can't you be like that? Why can't you have an accent? Because I'm like that? from the East. <laughs> It's from the bad part. And then part. we told him, no, I'm pretty sure we have Brian Adams Summer of 69. And then I turn around and it says, next song, fucking whatever, by Bruce Springsteen. Oh. He's like, oh, come on, kid, pass me the mic. Like, he was fucking old. He was old and fat, but he was sick. So he grabbed the mic and at every lyric, because he was smashed, every time he sang one lyric, he turned to one of us and go... You know Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> 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 you know what this is? <laughs> <laughs> like he, he'd go like nah, 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 nah. he's one of the greats nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were just watching him go at it and then he was also doing air guitar which was pretty sick I'll <sighs> give him that and then we thought this guy was pretty cool so we were like hey dude all our songs are done like he totally forgot about Summer of 69 he didn't play it let's go get some shots and then the bad vibes started happening. Oh no! When uh oh, we oh no! Walked up to the counter, and he said, "Hey, bartender, can you change out of these fucking gay sports and play some hockey?" Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't want to watch oh. fucking soccer. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Jesus! Now that's more like David. <laughs> no. Oh, no. So, uh, so uh, where are you guys from? And then Rexy took the lead and he went, oh, I'm from Canada. These two are from Florida and he's from Portugal. Portugal, eh? Oh, that's your fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. Can we get this guy oh on the podcast? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you right now, Portugal and soccer are some of the gayest things on the planet Earth. <laughs> But I'll, oh but I'll tell God. you one thing. The Portuguese, they have great hair. <laughs> Jesus I was, Christ. I was getting so many mixed signals from this guy. So I was like, thanks? Oh, no, no problem. My girlfriend's Portuguese too. She's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> what and, then shit. Said, and then he said, we have a daughter too. And then I asked, is she hot? He went, nah. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ! I mean, not really any right answer. And then we there. went. And then we went. Whoa! Come on! And then he went. Nah, I'm kidding. She's pretty hot. Ooh. And then we went. Wow! <laughs> he went for both of the wrong ends. Yeah. <laughs> he hit both sides. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He flipped the coin that landed on the edge. <laughs> we got 
good both. We can get the best of both worlds. And then he said a bunch of other awful shit that I, for the life of me, cannot remember. But he did say one more thing that I was, <laughs> that was pretty much the bit where we all went, we got to ditch this fucking guy. <laughs> We were already getting pretty bad vibes from this dude because he was very loud, too. And then the bit where we said we have to ditch this man was when we got four shots because he was in the bathroom. And then he came back and he was like, all right, let's do some shots. And then he went, oh, no, this one's for our friend. And then he said, and I quote, what, you only ordered four? What am I, black? Oh, oh! oh! oh no. no. Oh, no. I don't want this guy and on the then, podcast anymore. And then we just looked at each other and we took the shots and we just fucking left that <laughs> Jesus fucking Jesus Christ, dude. Fuck, wow. Whoa. <laughs> you give oh. him inward Carl's number first? <laughs> 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 to be fair, he didn't drop any end bombs. Good on you, man. What was it? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Way to hang in there. Uh. <laughs> Little bonus fact. When we went outside... um, we met up with these dudes, with this, these group of dudes like our age that were here too. And they were all from Toronto. It was a big group of people that came from Toronto. Mm. And we were like, oh, dude, we just do not go in the karaoke bar. That fucking weird Canadian dude is in there. And then one of the guys from Toronto went, oh, is it my dad? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew where what? that was going immediately. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, like, he's not actually my dad. He's just the fat Canadian dude that hangs out at the karaoke bar all the time and constantly wants me to call him my dad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. So I think him oh. calling soccer in Portugal gay might have been him projecting a little bit. <laughs> Maybe. Seems that way. And then we were just talking about how funny that dude was. And then I said, oh, yeah, apparently he has a really hot daughter. And then, and then one of the guy goes, oh, no, dude, I've met her daughter. She's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and wow. that, that's it for the 50-year-old Canadian man, the big fan of Bruce Springsteen. And Jesus. One of the greats. Not a big... Not a big, he's one of the greats, and he was not a fan of Portugal or soccer. In fairness, you're not a big fan of Portugal. Or any sport that wasn't hockey. I know, uh, that's true, but I'm allowed to not be a fan of Portugal because I'm from Portugal. It's true. Uh, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. So what's next? There's a big list here. Yeah. I know, I know. Well, there's not much of a story for I feel like a lot of this is just a part of the incel story. Like nightclub. Yeah. Most of Maps it, yeah. The nightclub one's already done. Uh, the let's get sad isn't really a story. Mm. It's just whenever me and Dave got any type of drinks, we just like plinked our glasses together. And then we said, yeah, let's get sad. And we just like, <laughs> did it work? Like go to the bout. Oh, yeah. We just went to the bout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Real, real easy. Um, oh, OK. One of the nights we were actually getting sad, like me and Dave just like did not feel like going out anymore. So we just like wanted to stay in and Charlie, Dave, Charlie and Rexy were like, come on, dude, let's go out. Like we're only here for five days. And we're like, okay, fair enough. Dave, let's have a quick power nap for one hour. Then we'll wake up in one hour and we'll go out. And he said, you going to set an alarm? No, I went, no, don't worry, man. I got a good mental clock. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just looked at each other and they went, yeah, I just set an alarm. And I was like, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> and then I grabbed my phone. I just looked at it and I just went, I turned on the alarm and I went mental clock. Kind of. I kind of want to prove a point. Like, <laughs> oh, dude. And, and then I turned off the alarm. Uh. And then we woke up at noon. Uh. <laughs> Rexy was very upset. Oh, man. You what pulled a Cameron. <laughs> um, what else is there? I feel like I'm pretty much done here. Oh, right. Okay. The naps and pizza one is really good because after that night, we kept making jokes about how we constantly drink during the day and we just sleep during the night where everyone actually goes out and where you're mm -hmm. actually supposed to go out. And then, like at night, we'd just be tired and we wouldn't even go out to eat. We'll just order room service. And they had this really fucking bad and greasy pizza that we'd constantly order. Oh. So we had like eight boxes of it. And most of them weren't even finished. <laughs> right? Jesus. And at some point, Rex was getting really fucking angry. This was like on the last two days. And he was like, I can't fucking take eating pizza anymore. We're going out tonight. And then he was like getting ready. He was like showering. He was shaving again, which was weird. <laughs> <laughs> he was putting on hair gel. And then 
while he was in the shower, me, Trelly, and Dave were all showered. We were waiting for him because he takes fucking ages. He's like the guy that's like, oh, oh, we're going out, we're going out. Oh, give me a second. It was like like a fucking base basketball jersey. Okay, let's go. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. And so we're just chilling, playing Smash, waiting for Rex to get done, and then like Trelly just looks at me and he goes, "Yo, Ed, you seen those?" And it's the fucking two year two year old, two days old boxes of pizza. I go, yeah, I see them. They look pretty fucking tasty. And then without saying a word, <laughs> Trelly opens a box. I think he opened the oldest one and just grabbed the slice uh. and took a <laughs> giant bite out of it. And I could, like, while he was tasting it, I feel like I could taste it too. Oh, because of how it sounded no. when he was chewing it. You know that, like, that really wet, cold yeah, that pizza squish. sound? Yeah, oh, yeah the squish. Wait, and, and, did and you guys it, have it in the fridge? No. Oh, <laughs> it was no. out on the fucking counter, man. There was good, no good, good. refrigeration going on in that pizza. And then Dave starts gagging, and I start gagging too. But then I'm like, this is <laughs> this is pretty funny. And then I grab a slice. <laughs> 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 and I start taking a bite. I can't fucking and, believe it. And Trelly's like, man, two-day-old pizza hits kind of different. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and, then and then you guys said cheers. To, we turned to Dave. We're like, you want in on this? And Dave was like leaned over the couch like. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh we go, God. yo, Rexy. And he was in the shower. I was like, what? <laughs> we just point at the. At our pizza in our hands that has like at least two bites taken out of it. And then Rexy fucking lurches over the sink and he's like, You guys are fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to the toilet and I swear to God, he vomits for five minutes. Straight. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Ew. Because he kept warning us if you guys open these, if I see this fucking pizza ever again, I swear I'm going to vomit. And then we didn't show him the pizza for 24 hours. And then we just go, yo, check this out. And we're just chowing down. On oh, you, you guys fucking. The entire I, room just smells like old pizza. Oh my God. You guys failed human Holy evolution. Fuck. Holy shit. I can't believe you, or he threw up from that. Like, wow. Yeah, that's some weak stomach shit. Oh, yeah. Man. And then, and then when Rex was done vomiting, he he was like, "Can we fucking go out, please?" And then me, Charlie, they're looking at each other. We were like, "I don't know, man. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Let's get some nap." <laughs> oh god, and he was just getting so mad. And then we kept making a fucking pizza and nap jokes while he was on the couch, just on his phone, just like he. I could tell he was gripping his phone so angrily, not looking at us while we were making these jokes. And then either. Me or Dave made another pizza joke, and, he, and and Rex just went, "Oh yeah, guys, keep going. These jokes definitely aren't getting old." And then I just went, "Yo, speaking of old, pass me that pizza." <laughs> 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 Fucking Christ! Did he vomit again? No, nah, he didn't. He just yelled. Oh yeah, at some point he was like, "I swear to God, guys, if we don't go out in the next five minutes, I'm gonna start screaming." And then he did. He started screaming for like a minute straight, and then he went. I'm not going to stop until we either get a noise complaint or we fucking go out. <laughs> oh, God. Get so Rex is a virgin. Yes. And it's an incel. Con- yeah. Okay. You got, I was going through the group chat to try and find pictures that could jog my memory. I just found this instead. Hang on. I'll put it in general. Ugh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Oh, dude. You could oh. you could tell it's like I can smell that. Yeah, that looks fucking awful. It looks so like dried grease, and at the same time, like none of the grease was on the crust at the top. <laughs> it looks like there's just yeah, it flour looks on it. Fucking dried at the top. Yeah, just no, like it hard, definitely, it's, it was hard definitely rock. dry. Oh god, it's pretty tasty. Yeah. yeah, I'm feeling pretty tired actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But yeah, no, I think uh So which one of see. the which one of the stories that you're gonna tell us unplugged? Is that in the topics chat? Yes, it's which Amanda, word is that? Is that Mama it? Juana? It has to be Amanda. Mama Juana Mama Juana was a uh, the name of a drink that uh they had and I don't remember why I typed that in. Oh, I think that was just us taking shots with a Canadian. Why yeah. why did I type that in? I swear there was a story regarding that. Is it Connor? No, no, it's the one after Dave. Amanda? Uh why are you being <laughs> cagey about it? <laughs> Who is Amanda? 
Because I have to be cagey about it. Do you know Amanda? <laughs> I'm very familiar with Amanda. Did you tell Amanda uh -oh. you have a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amanda, if you're listening to this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's not telling any stories about you. <laughs> Amanda, if you're listening to this. I should have I should have said yes. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. All right. <clears throat> Take him back, so Amanda. Does that wrap up? Does that wrap up the Punta saga? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Punta uh, saga. Saga. Take a bite from the pizza? Are you dying? What the fuck no, is I, going I took on? A I, I, I drank some water because I just felt filthy. I need to close this JPEG of the fucking pizza. Just delete man. it. I'm, just delete it from general. <laughs> Oh, I'm not looking at general I'll anymore. I'm leaving I'm that there. I'm general. Yeah, same. That's fucking nasty. My vibes are all um, fucking bad now. Oh, I mean, I, I have a couple more. Oh, wait! I haven't told you the best one! Ooh. I'm a retard! <laughs> Hello! I didn't write down the topics. I'm stupid. So, our vacation was technically... This was... This is how long our reservations were. Our reservations were from the 18th to the 23rd. Check in at 11 a.m. on the 18th. Check out at 11 a.m. on the 23rd. Remember these dates. Okay. But my plane tickets... forgotten. Were from, <laughs> I didn't lie. even listen yeah. the first time. <laughs> yeah. but my 18th to 23rd, I got it. But my plane tickets were from the 16th oh. to the 24th. Oh. Ooh. Those are because, different dates. <laughs> because when I tried to buy my tickets, last minute they told me that they wouldn't take PayPal. So I had to wait a day for that money to transfer to my bank. And then by the time I transferred the money in my bank, the tickets that were on the 18th were all oh, sold out. Oh, no. So I went, eh, fuck it. The tickets that put me there on the 16th are cheaper anyway. How, how bad is it going to be? Well, then. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So did you, did you get tickets, like plane tickets, without getting like hotel no we, we we reserved the hotel for the 20 he's asking he, no, he's, he's asking if you bought them separately just in, oh yeah in we did buy them separately way. yes yeah. we we bought the oh. resort separately and then we bought our plane ticket <laughs> so you had nowhere to stay on the six from the 16th to the well seven. here's the thing my plan was like <laughs> oh, well, no. i mean it's just it's just a two-night layover it's not that bad and then trelly told me well if you don't want to stay at the airport you could just get a taxi you could just go to the resort and tell them hey I landed earlier. Can I just stay at the resort and fuck around? That's not. Oh, <laughs> like, you're fucking. Can I just? What Trelly said was, you just tell him you landed earlier. You can just chill by the pool. And I went, Trelly, that is a fantastic idea. Oh, yo, no. <laughs> you can't entirely blame that on Trelly. You're a moron for believing that. No, no, I, I blame that on me. The, all of all of what I'm about to tell you was a hundred percent my fault. Yeah, anyway, yikes. Continuing, so. I land in Punta Cana, and originally I, I, I honestly thought there's no way that resort plan is going to work. I'm going to stay at the hotel. I mean, at the hotel, at the fucking uh, airport. What I didn't realize is that if anyone listening has ever been to Punta Cana, staying at the Punta Cana airport overnight good. is kind of impossible yeah. because it's outdoors. There's no walls. Yeah. So it was kind of weird to stay in a place that has no walls. It's and basically a bus terminal. Like you get out, there's just a bunch yeah. of fucking buses. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. There's a bunch of buses and taxis trying to steal your organs. But so, <laughs> I'm, I'm just there and I'm covered oh, in mosquitoes, no. which by the way, are the bites are still here. They're all over my fucking feet. Oh. I don't know why. Nowhere else on my Sand body picks, is covered in mosquito dude. bites. It's just my feet. Sand <laughs> picks, I'll send them to Johnny. He's going to love these. <laughs> You're a cunt. Um, and then I'm just there like okay well I'm gonna try the plan Trelly told me because I don't want to fucking stay in a place that has no walls so I get uh, it but the thing is I sit at the airport way too long for me to make my decision because by the time I realized I should probably go to the resort instead oh, it was midnight and the buses would and then just I, stopped no it, there was no buses I mean there was buses oh. but you're supposed to get a taxi it's easier Okay. so mm -hmm. I went outside and I was like going to the taxi area there was no one there Oh, no. So I went up to a very nice lady that was just getting off her shift, and I said, where are the taxis? And all she did was look at me and then give me her phone, which was open on Google Translate. <laughs> <laughs> and I just typed in the English section, where are taxis? And then it translated to Spanish, and then we just went back and forth. And then she called a taxi driver that she knew. Oh, that's sweet. And I was like, all right, thank you very much. And then I got in the taxi, 
bad vibes started happening when I noticed that all of the leather of the seats was torn. And I went, eh, I mean, can't be, can't be that bad. At least it's a car that works. <laughs> 10 minutes into the drive. Oh no. There's a loud noise. And then I start hearing this like loose rubbery sound. And the driver just starts laughing like a maniac. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, what? what? What happened? And he's just like, problem. He just looks at me, raises one finger, and goes, problem. <laughs> and I went, okay. Which finger? <laughs> just What's the problem? <laughs> and then he slowly stops the car on the side of the road. Oh, no. And then he goes to the back seat and he gets a spare tire and he just slaps on the side and I go, oh, flat tire. And he went, yes, yes. <laughs> and then <laughs> I, I, I ask him, do you need any help? And he goes, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, okay. <laughs> so I just sat in the front seat thinking I was going to get murdered. Yep. Yeah. It took him at least an hour or two to fucking fix it. And at some point, I think his wife called him because someone called him and his positive demeanor immediately shattered. <laughs> <laughs> and I can kind of speak Spanish and I could kind of tell he was just saying, I'll be home soon. So that was definitely his wife. Mm -hmm. Or his husband. Yes, exactly. The Dominican Republic is very progressive. <laughs> Thank you, Avery. <laughs> so we, he puts the tire in and he goes, okay, let's go. And then I ask him, how long till the resort? He said, ah, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. I go, all right, fair enough. So the murdery feelings started dissipating until the last five minutes of the trip. We just went, and, like, it was just roads and, like, fast food places and gas stations. You know, civilization. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and, then, and then suddenly we hit the favelas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I go, I don't think this is where a resort is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And that lasts for like five minutes where I think, okay, this is it. He's going to drive me somewhere where they're going to put me in the bathtub, knock me out, and I'm going to wake up without the rest of my kidneys. <laughs> but turns out we're good. The resort is actually just past some favelas for some reason. And then I get to the resort and then Charlie tells me, just hang around the lobby. They won't like kick you out unless you look suspicious. And I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll pretend like I belong. Uh... <laughs> The thing is, I get to the resort at at least 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, you belong. <laughs> Guess how many people are trying to fuck around in the lobby at 2 a.m.? <laughs> I'm going to guess not a lot. You're, you, you're the correct guess would be one 50-year-old drunk couple. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. So I was like, all right, they, they, won't, they, won't, they won't get on my ass. So I, got, I sat in the chair in the lobby. I got on my phone. I started watching Goodfellas because I hadn't seen it yet. I had a demo on my phone. And then 10 minutes into the movie, I started like glancing up at the receptionist. They're both looking at me. And I'm like, eh, they're probably wondering why I'm in the lobby at this late of an hour. And then one of them walks over and he goes, are you here to check in or are you here to check out? And then, <laughs> you know, a very awkward mm. conversation begins where I tell him, oh, yeah, I have a reservation on, under Trelli's full name. They went, okay, uh, I can't find it. Uh, what day does it start? And I went, um, the, uh, the 18th. And they went, what? <laughs> well, the, um, <clears throat> the, uh, the 18th. That is two days from now. <laughs> and I went, yeah, I mean, I can just chill in the lobby, you know, while I wait. <laughs> no, I'll just chill here. Like, I'm good. Don't, I'm good. Don't like, even my stuff. pretend I'm not even here. Exactly. I, <laughs> oh my god. I'm 6'4. I'm, I'm inconspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking. And then he tells me that that is not possible, my friend. <laughs> and I just go, <laughs> okay. So what so do we do? And he says, plan? well. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, well, I mean, what you can do. Here's what we do. I give you a room for the next two nights. At first, my brain goes, oh, it's for free. And then I instantly go, no, it's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, then he, and then he's checking. I will check for the cheapest one. And I go, okay, perfect. Yes. And oh, then he no. goes, okay, I found cheapest one. It will be, because he put it on the calculator, because he was calculating already for like two nights. In total, it would be, he only told me the number, 734. Ah! And, and, then, and then my head, I go, oh, thank God. They're, they have fucking monopoly money. This shit is like what? <laughs> 
eight dollars they go yeah sure I'll, I'll pay it and i start getting like the fucking dominican money out and he goes oh no my friend it's u.s dollar oh, oh. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> these <laughs> like how you called their money monopoly money <laughs> and then and then i just go okay well that's that won't do <laughs> I what else the can idea we do? Just going, oh, no, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> that will not be 700. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. <laughs> I'm going to so go I chill in the favelas. <laughs> uh, you're, this fucking story is made, it's stressing so me anxious. the fuck out. It's, I have anxiety. Holy shit. And then he goes, here's what I can do. I can call a different, cheaper hotel. The manager, he's my friend. I will call him for you. And then here's the thing with the Dominican Republic. I always told people I didn't speak Spanish, but I do. I don't speak it, but I can understand it. So whenever they talk shit about me, I'd know. It didn't really give me an advantage, but I just get sad. <laughs> <laughs> Which in itself is an advantage at times. It gives me an advantage, but then I get sad. <laughs> Let's get sad. Uh, so I could tell these guys were trying to jit me. <laughs> oh no! Like he was like on the phone with the guy, and he was like, "Yeah, I got this schmuck <laughs> that <laughs> came two days earlier." <laughs> and then he was like getting the price, and he was like, "Oh, okay. So uh, I just got off the phone with my friend. The hotel is fully booked. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna call a different one." And I got at like halfway through Goodfellas while he was like finding it. To be fair, he was pretty nice. He did call a bunch of different hotels to try and get me a room. Mm. And then I he mean, was like, he was probably like going to get a, a cut from it or something. Yeah, that's probably, probably why. And then damn he, he comes back to you and goes, well, I'm sorry. All my manager friends, all the hotel is fully booked. What I can do for you is I can call a cab and you go stay at airport. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my God. I love this story. Oh, Jesus. a little bit of context. A little bit of context. When he was trying to check for my reservation, he had to take my passport, and then he basically held my passport hostage for the mm. entire time. Oh, <laughs> so shit. I couldn't, like, so I couldn't, like, run while he was checking for hotels. <laughs> so, I, so he'd make sure I'd, like, stay in the lobby while he was, like, checking that I wasn't, like, I don't know. Wait, why would he be scared of you running? Where I don't are know. you going like, to run to? <laughs> like, exactly. like oh no the favelas i don't know <laughs> the like because the hotel because the hotel's pretty big and if you're just fucking around you actually do look like a customer you know yeah mm -hmm. um so why weren't you walking around so he, why were you trying to chill in the lobby where everyone is yeah that's I mean, why didn't you just was, go in and to in, in a bar or something i was tired it happens i wasn't thinking <laughs> yeah anyway he says, I call you cab, you go stay at the airport. I'm like, all right, fuck it. That was my plan from the start. Who cares? I'll just sleep. Uh, and then he calls the cab. And then I get to the airport. And then the cab driver, I, I pay the cab driver and the cab driver gets a call. And then he passed me the phone and the guy goes, my friend, I still have your passport. Oh, <laughs> oh my fucking God, Ed. Oh. So, get back Ed, in the cab. Dude. Drive the 30 minutes back Dude. to get the passport, <laughs> pay the cab driver, get back in the cab again, go back You could have just airport. bought the hotel room at this point. Yeah, <laughs> holy shit. No, oh. I could have... Yeah, I could have. How expensive <laughs> was all that? Each cab ride was $40. Oh! Jesus, dude, and you took, what, five? You're a fucking... You're a fucking idiot, three. dude. No, I took oh. four. Wow, oh, money. Yeah, it's a little bit. Anyway. <laughs> and then I was like, you know, it's whatever. I'll just get on the airport Wi-Fi and I'll watch it on my phone. Because I had a charger. I'll just be on my phone for like two days straight. That's fucking... Everyone can do that. I mean, it's going to get boring, but whatever. I can like message people. Who cares? And then I'm on my Discord and I'm like messaging the boys. I'm telling them what happened. They're laughing in my face. Of and course. I'm like, All right, I'm going to go watch. <laughs> I'm going to go oh, watch shit. shit that I downloaded on Netflix. And I'm watching it. And I want to get on the Wi-Fi again to message people. And then it says, oh, your session timed out. And I go, huh, that's weird. Like, I guess the Wi-Fi just turns off when it's like 3 a.m. Then I went to sleep. And then I woke up on the 17th at like, like, like 10 a.m. or something. And I still wouldn't let me log in. 
And then I go to the counter and I ask them, hey, how come the airport Wi-Fi doesn't work? Oh, you only get 30 minutes and then you get locked out. <laughs> Jesus, Ed. <laughs> Should they take your clothes next too? Like, <laughs> I, Dude, I, wow. So, so this is the 17th at, eight, at 10 a.m. The boys <laughs> land the next day at 1 p.m. What do you think I did for more than 24 hours? <laughs> Nothing. There, was there no way to pay Fucking... to get more Wi-Fi? Nope. No. They told me, oh, but if you, once you're past, uh, <laughs> once you're past check-in, once you like have boarding pass and you check in, you're inside airport, then it's unlimited. Oh, nice. Did you yeah. buy a plane ticket? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> What's your cheapest flight? <laughs> did you, wait, wait, are you serious? No, of course not. Oh, I don't know. No, You're okay. fucking... You sounded serious. You... I I believe yeah, you Yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking after everything you've just told us, I believe anything. And then, yeah, I just chilled in the lobby. I was just on my phone. I was just like... I, I think at one... I think at some certain parts, I got like... Started getting delusional. Most of the mm -hmm. time, I was just writing shit on my Google Keep Notes. Like, just my thoughts. <laughs> like, Can you read some of those? <laughs> <laughs> uh, at one point, I'm pretty sure I wrote a fan fiction. Oh yeah, what? <laughs> what? Because I because I was that bored. And was it a PST fan fiction? No. Was it a uh, Smite wow. fan fiction? Not a real fan. Uh, oh, it was a else? JoJo fan fiction, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, and then Jesus. at one point, I think I wrote a song. Wrote I don't song. know. Uh, it was, and then I just like start. I, I watched Goodfellas like five times. How was it? <laughs> Because it was like one of the only movies on my phone. It was pretty good. Really good movie. It's pretty good. It's pretty long. <laughs> it's really boring after the fourth watch. I mean, yeah. It's like, it really just, predictable. I can just see you like as soon as it ends the third time, you're just like, all, all right, right and dragging go. the meter back to the beginning. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> but for, for most of them, I just stopped the movie and then I'm like, all right, break time. And I just get on keep notes and I just write down, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you try to go find Looking something Looking back to do? at our DMs, I love just seeing the moment where, hey, sorry, I'm in Putakana, shit Wi-Fi here, lol. And then I send <laughs> like three messages, and you send the first two parts of a thought, and then you stop. <laughs> <laughs> For Holy two days. Fuck. <laughs> and yep. There it is. <laughs> and what did you do? On, what did you do on the last day then? Because the last day you also didn't have a fucking hotel. Oh, on the last day. I mean, I mean, I went to sleep again, got more mosquito bites, and then I woke up, and I was just like, dude, it was thrilling. I was just looking at the clock, like, ah, they landed five hours. They landed five hours, <laughs> and I was just like counting like actions that I could do to make time go faster. Like, if I go take a shit, that's gonna be like at least thirty minutes, and then. <laughs> <laughs> So I was just like, I was just chowing, I was just chowing on protein bars at the fucking snack bar so I could shit fast and so I could shit more. And I could, what? So the time would go faster. I love you experience. There's such an odd way to, to dilate time. That's incredible. And then I just like, on the last like hour, I was like, how long does it take to walk across the entire airport? And then I just like started doing that, like get some exercise. So I was sitting down and I was like, damn, this is fun. I was just like, Walking from arrivals to departures and then departures to arrivals. Damn, this is fun. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then Christ, once, dude. once 1 p.m. hit, I was like, I'm going to go to arrivals. I'm going to wait for Charlie and Dave. And then I realized, shit, their flight's not listed in arrivals. And I walked back. Oh, no. And then oh, I realized, no. wait, didn't I message them yesterday saying I was going to chill at departures the entire time? Oh. And then I realized it's 1.30 and they're still not here. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, God, they lost me. And then... <laughs> And then for, I, I got so desperate that on the 17th, I started using fucking internet, my international data plan. And that ran out in like 10 minutes. <laughs> that ran out like instantly. And then I realized if I don't have my international data plan and I don't have Wi-Fi, how the fuck do I contact them? Yeah. So instead, I'm going on my phone and I'm praying to God that I have Charlie's phone number. And then I look at his phone number and I go, if he... If my international data plan is done, that means I probably can't afford to call him. Like, I, like it probably won't let me call him, right? So if I call this number and it doesn't work, they're never going to see me. They aren't going to find me. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so I call it and the only good thing happened. It actually started fucking ringing. And I, 
I was I have never been so happy to hear Charlie's <laughs> voice. Charlie went, and thank fuck, where are you? <laughs> And yeah. I like how it sounds like you've been stranded on a like deserted island for days. Was. I yeah. mean, yeah. It took him like an hour to find me. We were like on the phone because the airport was actually way bigger than I thought it was. And then when they finally found me, they, it was it was them two because Rexy landed at three p.m. It was them two and some like fucking weird dude with Ray Bans, <laughs> like super tan. And he came up to me and just like hugged me. He was like, "I finally found you, my friend." <laughs> I was like, "Sure." <laughs> my name is. My name is Tony. And I go, oh, my name's Ed. Nice to meet you. And then Charlie was like, dude, this man is the only one that wanted to help us. We went up to like a bunch of taxis and we kept asking him, does anyone know where the departures are? We need to find the information desk. And every single taxi driver went up to us and said, hey, forget about your friend. I give you a good deal. <laughs> Tony <Tony-dollar> Dollar taxi. <laughs> what? Uh, where do you need to go, friend? Jesus and Charlie Christ. said, Tony was the only guy that would help us. And then we oh. got in the cab with Tony, and I was telling them the, all the fucking horror stories. And I was telling them, listen, I know this airport like the back of my ass. I got you. So I was just like, <laughs> like walking the them through it. And then we, we got to the car. And Tony was like, hey, call me. Call, my name is Tony. Tony Transfer. But you can call me Tony Montana because no one party like Tony Montana. <laughs> And then he got a little, he got a little white bag out of his pocket. Oh no! <laughs> and he started tapping it next to his nostril. And he was like, "You guys, you guys want to party like Tony Montana?" And so I was like, and so I was like "No, we're we're good." And at this point, I was so like, this, this was like rescuing a man from the desert. I was fucking zoned out. So I just went up to him and I was like, "What is that?" And he gave me the bag and I started sniffing it. And I was like, oh, that's cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like not snorting it. I was just like smelling it. Just yeah, to, yeah, be, of course. to be safe. Hey, kids, don't do drugs, please. Ed, so many drug <laughs> stories. <laughs> and then I just gave him back <sighs> the cocaine. He was like, hey, like, just let me know. My name's Tony Montana. You need coke? You need weed? You need crack? Uh, I'm your guy. Here's my card. <laughs> 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 He, 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 he had a card. He had a card. He had a card called Tony Transfer. And of course. Do you still have it? Uh, no, Charlie kept it. Fuck. Oh. But yeah. And then we said, Tony, we need your help because we have a friend that lands at, at 3 p.m. Can you go back to the airport and go pick him up too? Oh, yes, of course. I'll make a sign. And he actually made a fucking... He didn't even write oh. it. He printed out a sign that said Rexy's full name on it in fucking Comic Sans. What a hero. Wow, Jesus. that's so amazing. <laughs> yeah. And you didn't amazing. even buy cocaine. Shout out to Tony. Probably. That's just inconsiderate. Dude, Dave, I hope- <laughs> Dave in the last couple of days was like, man, I keep getting sad from drinks. Let's just call Tony. <laughs> <laughs> so note to self, if I ever go but to the Dominican Republic, I got to find Tony Montana. Yeah, Tony transfers. Yes, to- yeah. Ask, but wait. ask for Tony transfer. Okay. Wasn't it until the 23rd that you had your yeah. hotel? Yes. What did you do on the 24th? Oh, no. I, I that, no, you just The thing is, that- here's what happened. Because I, I, land, I landed on the 24th. <laughs> My plane was actually on the 23rd, too. So we're all, like, checking what time our flights are. Because, like, checkout was at 11 a.m. Okay. And then we're like, oh, what time are your flights? Ricky's like, oh, mine's at noon. And then Charlie's like, oh, mine's at, mine's at 2 p.m. Ed, Ed, when's yours? And I go, oh, actually, I never checked. <laughs> so I got my phone You're such ch- an idiot. Because it said the 23rd. So, you know, I was happy with those flights. Oh, and I just put a hand to my face and I go, oh my fucking God. And they're like, what? It's at 11 30 p.m. <laughs> okay, that's Ed. better than 3 a.m. Yeah. It is better. I mean, that, that would be on the. Yeah. Dude, fuck. Yeah. So, and then I spent nine 30. hours at that airport, and I was like, "Well, it's fine. I'll go to the airport. I have, a, I actually have a boarding pass now. You know, you like see, I actually yeah. have a flight yeah, to go to, at so le- I can at least go you can through the fucking gates, have Wi Fi, and get the normal Wi Fi." Da- oh my fucking David, God. let me finish. <laughs> so I'm, I went. No, I went to the airport, and I was looking for where to check in because I needed my fucking boarding pass, and then I couldn't find it. It was Air Europa. That specific airline. I couldn't find a single thing. And then I went to the board and it said it should be desks 31 to 40. Desks 31 to fo- through 40 were some weird shit instead of Air Europa. So I go to the info desk and I go, hey, I'm trying to check into this Air Europa flight and I don't see any Air Europa check-in desks. And then the info lady says, what's your flight number? 
and I give her my flight number. And then she <laughs> checks and she goes, is it the uh, flight to Brussels at 1130? And I go, yes. Oh, you can't check in. You can only check in three hours before your flight. Oh, oh my God. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Ed, what the podcasting hell? from the airport? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Live from Punta Cana Airport. So, oh, basically, back to protein bars and lots of shitting. <laughs> because the best part is, I didn't know my flight was at eleven thirty. So while I was in the resort, I didn't download anything to watch. Oh my god! Dude. So back to Goodfellas. Back to <laughs> you watch Goodfellas again. <laughs> back, back to writing my fucking manifesto on Google Keep. <laughs> Holy shit, Ed! You fucking idiot! Oh, yeah, that was wow. that was my holiday. That was my quote unquote holiday. And I'm it's back. quite good. Did the good outweigh the bad? <laughs> Was it worth it? Can we move on? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit! I have no idea where to go. I, I'm like, I, yo, yeah, Kyle, that was hang on, hang on. I just realized this is horrifying. Kyle, do you have any traumatic experiences you need to share? <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. This my is... life is sick. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking horrifying, dude. You probably should have just gone to the favelas. Yeah. Honestly, you might have (laughs) had a good time. Tony, like (laughs) Tony Tony would have definitely helped you with the last day. You should have. You should have fucked up with Tony. I could have just took some crack, dude. Those last days would have gone by in a flash. Just, just, just fucking call up Tony. Hey, I want a good time. Can you help me? I didn't know Tony in the first few days. You might have found him though. I know. That's true. So Just start maybe. taking cab Next rides time around at the to pass the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Take me to a party. <laughs> <laughs> what was all y'all's first exposure to, like, drug abuse? My dad. Uh, I went to a furry convention. Uh, really? That was the first? <sighs> I mean... Well, I mean, marijuana also counts. Oh, oh, it's illegal. oh, yeah. Well, to drug abuse. I'm not talking about the first like one, fucking I, the first snorting okay. coke off someone's dick to be, or something. Does it have to be abuse no, okay. or just use? Uh, I, I was thinking abuse because I was gonna mm, mention me. that, and I think I've talked about it briefly on the podcast before. The dude who I uh, went to my middle school, who was held back two years, just getting barred out in the cafeteria at lunch one no. time. No, I don't remember this. No, have I not mentioned Wait, that? No. I think you posted I mean, this in top in topics, but I don't think. I oh think yeah, I dude, who I got out have lunch in middle school. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's not the story. The story is me remembering why I got kicked out of my shop class in in middle school. Oh, right. But this guy was in that class. So that I mean, that's basically that entire story. But that was how I found out about drugs, essentially, or that's how I found out people use drugs. Because I just thought drugs were something that people made up for like NCIS and shit. <laughs> Wait, really? I didn't think they existed. <laughs> I mean, I guess I kind of knew they existed, but I was like operating under the assumption that like it's like, oh, no one I know is ever going to do drugs. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, which is really funny when you think about the fact that Ed and I lived together for a while. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, so I guess that's yeah, so I um I told a joke in the record review ages ago. Yeah. And I, I couldn't remember like the specifics of it, and it's about how I was forced to sit outside of my shop class, like outside of the school, like on a piece of paper with my name on it. And I'd forgotten like everything leading up to that point. So when I was in elementary and middle school, and I had a conversation with Mandy about this because we both did the same shit, where we would try to come up with schemes to make money, like we were trying to buy jawbreakers and Ed, Ed, and Eddie or some shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, a big one I had in middle school was when I started taking shop class, I designed these really easy to make little wooden dude like figures. It was like, uh, I mean, it was just a shitty little wooden figure of a dude that was like also a square 
and you could just like throw it. I don't, I don't really know what it was for. <laughs> you, <could just> throw <laughs> it. <laughs> you could throw it. It, it was, would always land on a side. It was and novelty. I was like, this is brilliant. <laughs> it was novelty. <laughs> but uh, I, you could make them really, really quickly. So I would just be sneaking um, like scrap wood. And when I was, <sighs> I would like rush through and finish all my projects really quickly. But then I would hide them. And I would continue working using scrap wood to make these little dudes. And I would be selling them uh, to other people. And people were buying them because everyone in middle school is a fucking idiot. Yep. Or they're barred out of their minds, <laughs> apparently. By the way, Bart, barred out is Xanax, if you guys didn't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So eventually my shop teacher uh, discovers that uh, I've been doing this. And I am forced to sit in the corner and I'm not allowed to do any more of my projects. And I just get a C grade on all of them for the rest of the year. Jesus, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, I don't, think, I don't think that's like allowed by the school, but that was the punishment. Mm. I was not allowed to do any projects anymore, but I didn't get detention. So, you know, mm. it's fine. Yep. Uh, but an effect of me sitting in the corner is that the shop class is really loud. So he wasn't paying attention to me like... And he also spent a lot of time in his office. So I would leave the corner and I would be recruiting people to make the little square dudes for me. <laughs> and I would tell them that they could get a cut. And uh, they could get a cut. Got, They're doing all the work. <laughs> I got, but I'm the mastermind. Yep. I'm the one selling. I'm the one out there on the streets, you're dude. The, you're, the, yep, you're the kingpin. <laughs> I'm the distributor and the ideas guy. <laughs> so. I have two people working for me at this point. I have two employees in my shop class. Uh, hardworking boys. Very good. Hi, big recommend. Um, they are making my little wooden square men. And eventually one of them drops one on the floor. Uh, and doesn't notice that they dropped it while they were walking back to their table. Oh, no. And my shop teacher comes out of his office and he's going to look at everyone's progress over the day and he finds a little square dude and he, his fucking face flips like 90 degrees and looks at me <laughs> and I'm just sitting in the corner and I just shrug. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't touch it. Uh-huh. I haven't moved. Did he believe you? Squints and he starts looking. Well, yeah, because he was paying attention. He would pay. He would notice if I was using the tools. Uh huh. I was luring people over to my corner like a fucking gremlin to <laughs> get them in on my square scheme. So he starts paying closer attention. And the next over the course of the next week, he catches the two people that I had recruited. So now there's a boy in three corners, each like one of three corners of the room. There's my corner. There's two. And there's the other two boys corners. And I... I'm a very hard worker and I really believed in this project. <laughs> so I have recruited two more people at this point. Jesus Christ. No, dude. I recruited one more person at this point. And no, it was two. It was two. I recruited two more people. They eventually get caught because of course they do <laughs> because he's paying attention now. Yeah. But I think I've got him beat. I'm like, <laughs> I'm a genius. What are you going to do? There's five of us. How many corners are in this room? bitch? <laughs> Well, well, because I thought I thought if he's out of corners, he can't do anything to us anymore. I mean, he's a wood teacher; he can just make more corners. (laughs) There was definitely four corners. Yeah, there was only four corners. I had he his initial plan was to put me in the far recessed corner because there was like these unused sinks, and there was like a little cubby beyond the room that I was forced to sit in where there were no lights. Jesus <laughs> Christ. really was like a little the little shop goblin <laughs> <laughs> getting people to make my square men. Oh my god. And uh, so eventually he runs out of corners and I don't actually have him had because he just takes out a big piece of paper, writes my name on it and then puts it outside and says go sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and I, I, I'm like, okay. And I turn into edit the airport because I have an iPod touch that I couldn't use while I was in the classroom. Oh and I just God. start watching. I start downloading movies onto it. How? I mean, I'm not exactly like it. I don't not, not, not at school. I mean, school had no, an I'm iPod. saying how the fuck do you download movies on an iPod touch? I had one of those. That shit was impossible. You could. Well, I, I was renting them on iTunes. Yeah. I wasn't oh, like, okay. yeah. 
Yeah, no, I was renting movies on iTunes and uh, I was just watching them. And I eventually was like, that tree, like across the little bus drive, looks pretty comfy to sit under. And I start sitting under the tree. <laughs> And, and he would just never come out and check on you? He never, he wouldn't bother checking. Wow. Because I fuck? figured he wouldn't. That's why I was watching shit on my iPod. And at one point, um, I just started drawing on the little piece of paper with my name on it to personalize it. Because I was like, huh, if this is my home now, I want my home to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> How much were you selling yeah. those pieces for? I don't even fucking remember. Like a buck? <laughs> I used to do this. I actually used to do the same thing, both with erasers. Like I would just like get erasers and make shapes with like scissors and shit. That I cut them into stars, and people would buy them for a dollar. Nice. I was I used a to fucking sell fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And that was about it. <sighs> Mandy had uh, a fake Yu-Gi-Oh game that he made with like all I forget what it was. Mandy and I both had Paper? a lot of schemes. Mandy's had a big one where he tried to monetize the water fountains at the school. Okay. Nice. I don't, I don't know that story. But I, I know, <laughs> I know, exists. I know. I just, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, uh, but I'm not actually done with my story because ooh. one time when I was sitting under the tree, the vice principal would make the rounds of the school every once in a while and look at the, and like, look at the teachers and he would show up unannounced and I was just chilling across the bus drive <laughs> under the tree and he walked over and I didn't know he was coming. I was watching Zoolander. <laughs> <laughs> And so he walks over and he like, and I notice when he gets close because I'm a child and this is an adult. So I think I'm about to die. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he asks, what are you doing out here? And I said, oh, I'm not allowed in the shop. Room anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, why? And I was like, I was making square men. <laughs> Did you say word for word you were making square men? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I Jesus. was making these square mint and I had one because I kept it because I thought these things are sick. So I just had it in my bag. Uh, no, I had it in my binder because we weren't allowed to have our backpacks in the classrooms because middle school made a lot of sense. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I had it in my little fucking zip up binder and I whipped it out and I was like, look, I got a little <laughs> square mint. with making dollar. these. You want it? <laughs> I wish. No, he didn't <laughs> think it was sick at all. He went and he talked to the fucking uh, shop teacher and he was like, why are you disciplining a student and making him sit outside <laughs> across the bus drive with for for something in class instead of going to the principal's office and having him disciplined the right way yeah and he said i didn't tell him to sit across the circle drive and then the <laughs> the assistant Wait. principal looks at me and i just give my patented shrug <laughs> Like, the fucking uh, credits roll. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I found out because that was when I was in um, that was when I was in eighth grade. I found out after I graduated, went to high school because my brother went to the same uh, same Middle school. school yeah. And I asked him, hey, you what's up with the you taking shop or anything? And he's like, no, we don't have shop as an elective anymore. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, wow, man! I think I might still have one of the square men. I would need to look. Just make one. <laughs> yeah, just I make don't a, have a fucking there's, saw. But but they're so easy to make. Just make one. I definitely saw some type they're of. They're easy saw to make when garage. you have a fucking belt saw. You don't get have a one? belt saw. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I could be selling these things for a buck. Yeah, you could sell that shit as merch, saw bro. Yeah. Yeah. This <laughs> donation <laughs> goal on your stream. I need a. Saw. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make my square men. Just carve a little PST into it and sell it for eighty dollars. No, just add it as a goal on the PST pot on the PST Patreon like donation goal. Just say a thousand dollars. Avery buys a saw. Perfect. Speaking of the, please stop Ooh, talking Patreon. If you're part of David. the tier ten dollar and above, you can ask a question for the Patreon question time. And the best question gets a square man. What's a square <laughs> man? <laughs> what does it look like? I, I like the third more recent one. That one's what cool. is it? It's Who said it? Jan de Oliveira. And he says, 
What's your favorite character in media, wherever it may be from? And are they a straight mom or a gay dad? A gay dad. Oh, Ooh. Boy. oh wait. Single okay. favorite character. Wait, wait. Let's let's yes. let's just let's let's try to guess. I'm gonna say mine. I'm just gonna say what what they are. Oh, and we guess and if he's a gay you, mom or straight dad. Okay, I'm okay. alright with yeah. that. Yeah. Oh wait, no. I I thought it was the opposite. I was just gonna say straight mom, and you guys well, guess like. That that's, is that's, 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 that's not that's a, a fifty-fifty shot. There are so many characters we can pick from. Do you know how many that, characters in media I mean, exist? Uh, <laughs> no, but I'm all right with David's because that means it's a more interesting guess. You know, it like is we get way to make more an interesting about yeah. his his taste. Yeah, straight mom, Sora. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you gotta be. Can I do another one? <laughs> Can I do another one? No, no, that was your one. Uh, Fuck! Oh, I got a huge play. gay dad. Gay dad. Mickey. <laughs> Donald. No, Ed, you're the only one who could possibly guess this. Oh, uh, I think I, I think I know. I'm not in on the whole. Wait, weed I, I don't know. I don't club, know his. So. I don't know. I know it's a JoJo. Is it wheelchairman? It's, it's not a JoJo. It's a character from JoJo. Wheelchair man. Wheelchair. Who you talking about? Wheelchair Johnny? man is. It's it's not Johnny, but uh, <laughs> wheelchair man is clearly Johnny. I. You just said it's not Johnny. What the is fuck are you talking about? No, it's not Johnny. He said say it's not Johnny. I what said it's not wheelchair man. What's happening? Who David's you? the one who said wheelchair man. Oh, for me? No. no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gay dad. Oh my god, Koichi? Who is? I don't know. What? I didn't watch that far. Who is my favorite character oh, in all of media? They okay. are a gay dad. Oh, I thought David said gay dad. No, no. That's, that's always gay. Okay, we said it David sounded, gets one. I know it sounded like David's voice. I it's was, Gyro. Shut up. Oh Jesus! What? Christ, move oh. on. Don't dwell on it, Kyle. Kyle. I, uh. Okay, I'm just thinking of one person in particular, but I feel like I want to say it and then have you guys debate whether he's a straight... Okay. Okay. Straight, okay. Is Master Chief a gay dad or a straight mom? Master Chief is your favorite character in all of fiction? Uh, no, I don't think so, but it's just the one that's coming to mind right now. <laughs> is he, no, definitely I don't, not. I feel like he's a... I feel like... Master Chief's a straight mom. mom. I, I think only, Master Chief's a gay dad. To be how? honest, how? I've only played. He's, the first a, he's half only of Halo a gay dad one. when you play him online in matchmaking, and he's a twelve-year-old. Yeah. Wait. Why are twelve-year-olds gay dads? You can hear David dads? being bitter about the fact that he's a straight mom. You can hear <laughs> David being bitter over all the tea bags he got. <laughs> uh. Have I ever explained that the reason that I know Kyle is like really, really extrapolated from the fact that I got really mad about someone's guest on Xbox Live you've, teabagging me you've on Snowbound? Explained it, yes. Yeah, I yeah. think that was on the Q and A. It's pretty good. Uh, Ed, yeah. Okay, shit. Ed's, What's my? F you can say What's? straight mom. You can say. Uh, yeah, I know. Hang on, I'm looking at my books. My my big gallery of books. Give me a second. Oh uh, fuck! I always forget that Ed records from his library. <laughs> <laughs> What a proper yo, fucking lad. Yo, Jeeves, pass me the one on the uh, top shelf, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. Oh, this one's an oh, whew, This one's old. Yeah, I'm <laughs> dust on it. Yeah. Okay, mine is Straight Mom. Is it also Sora? No. I've is it a JoJo? Kingdom Hearts. Is it a JoJo? It's not a JoJo. It's not from JoJo either. Is it from... Is it Phospholipid? That is not oh, a character in fiction. That is, is a real thing. Dev Devil May Cry? I, what? No. I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> no. I'm just saying... Sh I'm just asking. Is I'm just asking from like series. Favorite. What? But we have to make it like we have to funnel it. We have to take is something it, big and make it. Is it the devil from Devil vague. May Cry? Is it the? Is it the May? Oh, is it the devil from the Bible? Is it the month of May? <laughs> <laughs> is it a is it a d20 dice from dungeons oh, yeah, you're not these all trying. exist david what are you doing all right avery oh, you get your has... try and i'm just gonna say it if you don't get it wait i need wait, to try Kyle wait, give, give us try. a hint give us a hint yeah. is it is it like in video games is it in it books is, is it, it in... is in video games and it's uh oh oh, it's... oh kiryu no? Okay. No. <laughs> also, no. Also, Kiri's a gay dad, 
That oh, I mean, yeah. Mom from a video game, Ed's favorite character in anything. I get to guess. It's, uh, on, a, it's on a Konami franchise. A Konami, Konami franchise. Oh, uh, well, I'm out. <laughs> and for that reason, oh. I'm out. Uh, uh, I, I f- straight mom in a Konami franchise. Oh, oh Konami! Uh, I don't know. If the top, I can't remember what Konami uh, makes. They made uh, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, it's uh-huh. right. It's. <laughs> 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 it's it's Big Boss. Yeah, yeah. it's Big Boss. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good question. Thank you. Yeah. Um. We didn't answer it at all like you wanted it to, but thanks for the question. <laughs> Doesn't no, we care. We made I a mean, fun game the- out of it. See? We had fun. Yeah. I didn't have fun. You guys had fun. Do we want to answer the one right below that? You can. Uh, uh, you sure. can. Who? Yeah. Do you do right. for us, Kyle? <clears throat> yeah, sure. Uh, someone with the fantastic name of <laughs> Kyle Ripper asked, how did you guys get the idea to do a narrative ad read? And how did you decide on the I'm glad you asked storyline? It happened. Sit this uh, we did the I pretty it was the Kyle had Kendrick the idea one. to make the Cameron the poster ad read Cameron sitting at his desk and David bursting through the wall I think I yeah. did that yeah I you think did that was you I'm pretty sure me. it was I've been a, I've been accredited this twice now and I I just I'm no, pretty sure I'm pretty sure you did you were involved in the decision making at least of saying David or it's because sh- it's because Cameron wouldn't shut the fuck up about his like yeah tickets we, yeah, yeah yeah I think oh no I think Kyle your idea was to incorporate his fucking tickets into the ad yeah because he, so he couldn't that's stop what spiraled into the ad read being him sitting at his desk and David breaking down the wall i'm glad you but asked then, was avery though i'm glad I think you asked you was said me that. and then it may it becoming narrative was also me because we did we were starting the next ad read and i went what if we just continued <laughs> what if it was just and cameron just, calling me it just being, happened being like i swear to god <laughs> david it got broke me. through my wall and tried to sell me a poster <laughs> yeah and then it, it just kept going and getting yeah. more and more complicated and honestly and it will continue to get more and more complicated it's and people apparently too, love it so yeah, yeah it's good that's apparently fun that, that's a about it also it doesn't seem like many other podcasts do that so <clears throat> i don't think any other podcasts do that I, yeah if any other podcasts do that we'll sue <laughs> nope we'll sue no nope. yeah we nope. will we're okay. going we are right. coming for you i'll i'll go to law school Ed's gonna write this. our lawsuit in his Google Drive notes. Oh, I can't. I can't talk about lawsuits. I'm being audited. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, any other questions? I found a good one, but I already picked one, so I feel like it's not fair. No, yeah, go, go for no, it. Go ahead. Hey, Ed, it's your day. Oh, guys, <laughs> you deserve a you deserve a day after this those was the two Ed days. show. So. You know what? You know what? Kyle's back, and he's just giving me the spotlight like this. Kyle, you're a good dude. You know, I appreciate you saying that. Guys, he fucking bought it. Hang on, I deafened him. Guys, he fucking bought it. Holy shit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, so this guy's saying, his name is Sean Lane. Or Slaney. I've been a fan of Yes for many years, so when JoJo's turned around about into a meme, I got really giddy at the prospect of people rediscovering one of my favorite bands. So on that note, has there ever been something you're a fan of, particularly something a bit older and somewhat forgotten, that has recently re-entered the limelight? And you like it. Um, the lion. Mm. What? Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> David, cut that. <laughs> David, boost that. I- I'm going to fucking censor that. <laughs> that was fucking vile. <laughs> that was horrifying. Yeah, my bad, my bad. I hope it fails. Um, Mine is... um. I, oh my god, I'm having a fucking brain fart. The anime, not the anime, the manga about the guy that has a gun for a head. They're making an anime out of it. <laughs> Gunhead Man. Yes! Is that it? Uh, Are you on. kidding me? Is that Gunhead Man for real? I need to find the trailer. But yeah, it's, it's the one that like people meme the shit out of because there's this one panel where he just says, I have a gun for a head. I don't have to explain shit. It's the, <laughs> it's the name of a, um, it's a detective. Like a noir detective that just has a gun for a head. Uh, let me find huh. the trailer. 
The West is so far behind Japan. Uh, no Guns Life. That's what it is. I will post uh, a cover of it. It's really fucking good. I recommend you guys read it. And the art for it is fucking sick. Here's the cover of the first volume. Oh, wow. yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Wow. And I'm on board. Yeah. I'm, uh, uh, yeah. That's enticing. Here's the trailer. It has 300 views. I really hope it gets popular because this shit is so good. For me, it's uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Because mm. it, it's, mo- it's the fastest yeah. selling and most popular Kingdom Hearts game now. And it definitely and people, disappeared for a couple years. Yeah, and people are going back into it because they also re- uh, released a uh, story so far on PS4. So now all the game, uh, not all the games technically, but most of the games are HD on the PS4. So it's way more accessible. Even the weird Game Boy Mobile ones. Mm, no, well they made a they made an actual like remake of the Game Boy One. Like Chains of Memories, they made a PS2 game for it, but oh, we okay. don't talk about Chains of Memories. Oh no, I don't know what's wrong with I don't, I don't know. It's a card game. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, I guess mine would probably be Heather's when they made the Heather's musical. Gay. Hmm. A bit gay. I have <laughs> no. I, I don't know much the about movie's that. Better so. than the musical. Yeah, though. but no, I, yeah. I've I, I haven't watched the Heather's, but I have. Uh, read the script and listen to the songs that's it oh yeah uh yeah. the movie is better than the musical for the record really which movie substantially the the original Just... movie from 1988 oh okay because that's on netflix for me i should watch that you should it's on it's youtube very good it's on youtube uh, it got taken down from youtube ah uh... <laughs> it had been up for like years and then i started linking it to people like it's on youtube just watch it oh and you... they immediately took it down you did that I'm onto you youtube what the fuck what about you, Keith? copyright law. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something like old and like forgotten. Maybe I'm just stuck in a Halo set of mine, but Halo's not old and what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember I mean, you Master being Chief, that in day. <laughs> I mean, Master huh? Chief Collection is coming back, so I guess it is. I, I guess it does PC? count. Oh, I'm gonna Steam hype, but it ain't forgotten. Nobody why forgets. Is, why isn't it coming to the Epic Games launcher? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm done? just waiting for Fortnite to make a comeback. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right, We're yeah, let's be done. We're done. Let's Fortnite, be done. <laughs> Fortnite remastered in two years. Hey, Kyle, you want to plug your shit? Uh, me? Yeah, uh, you, get, you get top billing. Shit. Ooh. All right. Um, thanks for uh, signing me back on to another season, David. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the money. You can... <laughs> no problem. Um, you can find me on Twitter at SirZulu underscore, and I might even tweet there. Whoa. Someday. Are Should those electoral that? fucking promises? Did we complain on this episode about how this was supposed to be a reunion and Cameron is a bitch? We did not, but we're at the end of the episode. Oh. No, Cameron's right here. Look. Oh, you can find me on oh. Twitter. Oh, super sick <laughs> sheep. And nothing else, because I have no drive. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ.